Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera So hmm, Kita akan sambung video ini Sambungan antara ya, ya, Berkaitan dengan accounting for liabilities So we will be focusing on current liabilities this time Okay so this is a question related to the Transaction for Accounts payable Okay yang the first one we will focus on accounts payable But this one you dah familiar buat So macam biasa kalau you beli you know, Macam for this example one If you purchase 15,000 goods or goods to Baraniaga uh, pada tarikh 16 and how do you journal that? So, the journal would be uh, you akan record tarikh tu and then uh, bila you beli Baraniaga, kita consider as purchases for debit as uh, purchases is an expense bila bertambah dekat debit, so kita debit lah 15,000 and then creditkan dengan accounts payable 15,000 So, what narration? Okay, very simple yang ni. Okay. Kita pergi ke contoh seterusnya. Kita akan cuba belajar macam mana nak buat notes payable. Ah, Yang ni macam baru sedikit. Okay. So, this is a question related to the notes payable. So, we will be focusing on notes payable for current liabilities only. Okay, this time. So, uh, looking at the questions. Okay. Uh, dia kata kelibang uh, syarikat tu dia ada pinjam RM20,000 hutang dengan sign notes payable for 60 days. Okay. So, please be noted that the, the question stated in the, the loan within 16 days and assumption 365 days per year. Okay. So, we will uh, now you will focus uh, for, uh, will be focusing on how to record for the issuance of the notes. When we when we want to record the first uh, the, f the the first money we receive because uh, we sign the notes people we call that transaction is the issuance pengissuan uh, issuekan satu notes macam tu like that okay so in this case we will uh, record uh, on the date january 1st okay so kita dapat duit kan so debit bank lah so uh, kita record nilai dia 20000 And then, uh, bila kita pada, pada pada waktu yang sama, bila kita dapat duit, so we start uh, uh, to oblig to pay some someday notes payable for twenty thousand. Okay, itu sajalah cara nak record. So you want narration to record issuance of notes payable. Okay. So for the next uh, requirement by the question, dia dia cakap record the payment of the notes and interest on the maturity dates okay so what is the maturity date so maturity date is related uh, okay referring to the transaction that the notes payable already expired dah habis dah waktu dia then we have to pay all the uh, debt that we owed to the uh, someone we signed with okay so sebelum kita kira sebelum kita record channel kita kena tahu sedikit pergerakan dan nilai interest yang terlibat okay how to do that we have to understand the timeline okay relating to the transaction okay katakan contoh dalam soalan ni dipinjam satu hari bulan satu okay dipinjam satu hari bulan satu 2020 And then dia uh, ah yeah, ya tutup account 31 hari ah uh, no dia pinjam 1021 2020 and then dia plan untuk pinjam 60 hari okey kita kira kalau soalan sebut hari kita kena kira hari-hari contoh macam bulan 1 kita ada 31 hari okey kita move uh, we move to the uh, february ah uh, on the february tutup hari ni 28 daripada 2 okey Mm, kalau soalan kata tadi 365 hari Meaning that bulan 2 tu 28 hari lah Okay So bulan 2 28 hari Okay sekarang kita target Kita nak dapat 60 hari kan Okay Cuba kira 60 hari Tolak 31 hari Tolak 28 hari Jawapannya tinggal lagi 1 hari So we have to pay Uh, the the notes payable the notes payable and the interest uh, incurred and pada tarikh satu hari selep, pada satu hari selepas bulan 3 lah maknanya satu hari bulan 3 lah kita kena bayar okey penting untuk kita tahu tarikh satu bulan 3 sebab uh, inilah waktunya kita tahu kita perlu bayar dan record okey so uh, before we record the transaction we have to calculate the uh, interest related to the transaction so how to calculate so 20,000 is the amount of the uh, 
the money we own okay 20000 we have to times the 12000 uh, the 12 uh, no the 12 percent so 12 percent uh, mentioned in the question is for one year by default any interest uh, mentioned in the question must be referring to one year punya the uh, punya rate okay so in this case we only uh, owe uh, uh, kita cuma pinjam hanya uh, 60 hari okay so bila 60 hari you darab dengan 60 you have to over 365 as mentioned in the question so the total of the interest incurred is actually 360 94.52 all right so this number we will record dekat journal so tarikh kita nak record ialah pada hari uh, maturity date so the maturity date is, is okay we will debit notes payable alright 20,000 dekat debit meaning that notes paper kita berkurang ok liability berkurang di debit kan ok so um, here we have to recognize interest expense as we owe together with the interest expense kita kena bayar interest kita tak buat apa lah orang tu bagi pinjam kat kita tapi tak dapat apa-apa so kita kena bayar interest expense so as calculated just now as we calculated just now the amount is 394.52 cents Okay, so this both you have to combine and then you have to pay. So the amount that we have to pay is the combination between the principal of notes payable 20,000 plus the interest expense. Okay, so buatlah narration. Okay, so itu pasal notes payable kalau kita related to the hari lah. Okay, sekarang kita tengok soalan kalau dia sebut notes payable tapi dia sebut pasal guna bulan dia tak pakai hari pula eh. Okey, kita tengok contoh. Dan dia akan bayar tarikh dia. Ha, kita tengok contoh kat sini eh. Alright, contoh tadi kita patah balik sekejap. Ha, dia pinjam 100,000, interest 12%, pinjam 4 bulan. Dia kata matured uh, pada 1 Januari 2021. The financial year ended 31 December every year. So, ada point kat sini soalan tu sebut untuk menunjukkan bahawa transaction ini akan langgar accounting period. Okey, nanti awak akan tengok. Alright. So kita akan first uh, issue dulu. So first kita record dulu the issuance of the notes. Okey, bila kita dapat duit, kita akan debit bank. Jumlahnya 100,000 and uh, muncullah notes paper 100,000. Kita startlah hutang orang tu pada ta, pa, pada 1st of January. Okey. So uh, untuk journal yang kedua Untuk the requirement by the question yang kedua The question ask you to record the adjustment of interest payable Why the question uh, stated the word adjustment So adjustment happen when the transaction telah langgar accounting period Okay As you can see in this question Okay katakan contoh eh Dia pinjam start 1 bulan 9 2020 Tutup account 31 hari bulan 12 2020 Okay So, daripada 1 bulan 9 sampai 31 bulan 12 ada 4 bulan. Okay, kamu pun tutup account. Okay. Tapi, dia dah berjanji nak bayar hutang tu pada 1 hari bulan uh, 1 2021. So, esoknya. Tapi, pada tutup account, you have to do something. That, you have to calculate the interest. So, how to calculate the interest? The principal 100,000 times the 12% the rate and then you have to time 4 months per 12 okay Compar comparing to the previous questions that the question mentioned you in uh, terms day dalam kada, dalam nilai dia sebut dalam hari yang ni dia sebut bulan kalau dia sebut bulan you kena bagi 12 lah okay then you will get 4000 okay this 4000 is actually the interest incurred during after 4, uh, four months okay So what we have to do now Sebabkan December 31st You have to do the adjustment entry So you have to record first the interest expense So expense berlaku di debit So record Disebabkan pada tarikh ini Kita masih belum bayar lagi hutang So we will credit interest payable Interest tu jadi hutang pula Kena bayar Kerana kita belum bayar hari ni Okay So itu settle Habis dah kan Okay We move to the next question. Then the question asks you to record the payment of the notes and interest on the maturity date. So the maturity date is actually stated in the question on the 1st January 2021. Okay, how do we record this one? Okay, now the first one is we will, we will record notes payable 
Itu hutang ni semua Okey bayar semua pada tarikh itu Debit lah Okey kerana notes payable berkurang di debit Okey And remember interest payable we just recorded just now Masa during adjustment entry date So this is the time that you have to pay So the, uh, tadi sebelum masa you record tadi Dia dekat credit kan sekarang You will debit this interest payable To uh, mm, to show you that the interest payable uh, uh, Will be paid by today Okay pada hari ini dia akan bayar pada ibu Okay so Settle. So combine both numbers, you will get one thousand four, one hundred four thousand. So this is the total of the amount that you have to pay on this date. Okay. So hmm, we finish already. Uh, relating to the notes payable. Okay. Now we move to the expense payable. Lah, yang ni senang. We already covered during topic five. Okay. So as you can see in this question, dia kata Kelebang has not paid the premise rental for 1,500. Okay, dia tanya, suruh record masa December 31st. Meaning that dia sedar pada 31st December ada rental yang berlaku sebanyak 1,005 tapi dia belum bayar. So you have to recognize rental expense sebab dia dah mendapat benefit. But then you have to record rental payable dekat credit menunjukkan bahawa you dah berhutang sebab tak bayar pada 31st December. Okay. So for the next recording, uh, when the rental expenses you buy up at the 15 January, okay, you will reduce the rental payable, then you will debit that number, okay, 1500. So liability berkurang dekat debit, okay, dan you buy up dengan bank 1500, okay. Ha, habislah. Okay, we move to unearned revenue. Okay, what is unearned revenue? Tadi kita cerita ialah, ha, tengok macam ni. Kasih ni, dia dapat duit RM6,000. Tapi dia belum perform service. So, the question ask you to record first when the money received by the company. So, when the money received, so you have to debit the bank and then... You have to recognize that 6,000 as unearned service revenue as you realize that you haven't yet performed any services for the customer. Okay, so this is the transaction recording. This is the recording for the transaction. And then uh, later, bila you already perform the service, okay, for the February 25th, you will reduce the unearned service revenue which is this is the liability accounts where liability will decrease dekat debit so 6000 and then you masa ni baru lah recognize service revenue as you still remember as you hoping that you still remember that the uh, revenue recognition during your topic to uh, mentioning about uh, we will recognize revenue when the service rendered. Okay. So, you buat catatan. So, this is the under revenue punya example. Okay. Tarik nafas. We move to the new one. Okay. This one quite new for you. This is a example for sales tax payable. Okay. As you can see. In this questions, dia kata jima auto or supply ni, okay, maybe dia jual apa ni, RM16,000 lah, dia jual motor katakan, dia jual motor RM16,300, dia dapat duit RM16,380, okay, cerita dia macam ni, okay, uh, dia ada jual barang, okay, dia jual barang, alih-alih, tiba-tiba dia dapat duit, dia keluarkan resip, dia dapat duit RM16,380, Actually, included, okay, included in the 16,380 is actually the amount of the item that you sold, the company sold, and uh, the combination between uh, sales tax also, 5%. But this sales tax will be payable to the government. Okay, so, dekat sini ada dua item yang kita tidak dapat detect dia punya nilai. Dan tugas you adalah untuk cari nilai itu. Okay, as you can see here, sales plus tax, pay, tax payable is actually the total amount of the money received by the company. Okay, how to how to do that? We have to assume that sales uh, tadi plus dengan uh, sales tax. So, the sales tax actually is 5% on the sales. Okay, you tukar. Sekarang ni, kerja you ialah 
you akan tukarkan benda ni. Ah ni salah dia ada banyak cara untuk kira benda ni, tapi ini adalah salah satu cara yang mungkin membantu uh, kamu sekalian. Right? So, uh, we turn the formula to the algebra. Okay, is remember you change the sales to jadi y, you you senang kira. Okay, you perhatikan. So, y uh, 5% tadi dia jadi 0.05 y. Okay, and then you what you buat factoring. Remember? Ha, ni factoring ni tingkatan 1, tingkatan 2 dah belajar. Okay, so when you factor, uh, y tu you letak kat luar, you akan dapat nilai, akhirnya tu 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 tekan calculator, you will get that y as a 15,600. So, as you actually, you already change the y actually is cut, is the sales. Okay, so uh, you dah dapat. Sekarang ni sale adalah 15,600. So, you ganti sale tadi kepada 15,600. Bila you ganti, you akhirnya dapatlah tax payable. Okay. The tax payable is actually dalam kes ni, you tolak-tolak, you dapat 780. Okay. So, konon-konon kita masukkan dalam resip tu balik. Kita kasih, kita penuhkan nilai, uh, kita bagi nilai pada resip, barulah you nampak. Bahawa actually, the money received is the combination between the sales 15,600 and the sales tax 780. Okay, now, barulah kita boleh journal nombor ni. Untuk journal nombor ni, okay, pada tarikh transaction, uh, as you can see here, the bank received 16,380 total dia dekat debit sebab you terima duit. But, that money is because of sales 15,600 and sales tax payable. So, the 780 is actually not the uh, business punya duit. Okay, this will be payable to the government. Okay, so this is how you record the sales tax paper. So one day the uh, okay, tadi dalam soalan tadi dia kata the remittance, remittance ialah pada waktu you akan bayar hutang uh, you pada kerajaan tadi. Ha, pada masa itu I stated by the question dia kata pada hujung bulan 3 dia bayar 2000. Ah bayarlah 2000. Maybe this 2000 is actually bukanlah kami bukan maybe ada lagi tax payable yang lain. Jadi komen-komen adalah 2000 termasuklah yang tax payable tadi. Okay, so bayar duit dua ribu. So itulah ceritanya pasal sale tax payable. Okay, sekarang kita lihat contoh untuk ya current liabilities yang terakhir sekali, iaitu current a maturity of a long term debt. Apa itu? Macam mana contoh dia? Okay, contohnya satu syarikat tu dia dipinjam, uh, buat pinjaman. Okay, katalah dia sign notes payable katakan. Dia sign untuk RM25,000 tapi dalam perjanjian notes tu dia kata setiap 1 Januari starting 2020 when dia ni kena bayar, when dia ni owner lah kena bayar RM5,000 setiap tahun. Jadi pada setiap tahun RM5,000 uh, tu akan jadi tuntutan untuk tahun itu sahaja. Okay, jadi disebabkan dia berubah tuntutan tu dalam masa tempoh 1 tahun dia berubah sifat. Okay, jadi uh, mungkin tidak ada general khas untuk transaction ini Mungkin ada notes to the account Ataupun dalam keputusan pengurusan So um, kesannya ialah apabila you buat uh, statement of financial position Contohnya dalam kes ini Katakan kita buat bahagian liabilities okay. uh, Kita akan letakkan ah. Uh, non current liabilities dekat long long term notes paper tu kita tak letak 25 kita letak 20 kenapa sebab kita akan pindahkan 5000 yang menjadi payable for the next year as a current maturity of long term notes notes paper kita namakan dan di kategori dia akan diletakkan di bawah current liabilities so ini penting uh, semasa penyediaan statement of financial position okay so um hmm Itu saja uh, unt, uh, untuk kali ini, uh, untuk current maturities. Oh, lupa. Kita ada lagi satu contoh uh, current liabilities. Tapi kali ini adalah berkaitan dengan uh, warranty. Ha. Warranty tadi kita kata apa? Warranty tu kata, um, as uh, kita dah mention before dekat previous video, Katakan nanti um, kalau ada ha, macam ni kasihkan dia ada buat jualan and then dia estimate 3% of the sales 
akan rosak dia rasalah dia buat jangkaan mengikut pengalaman dia mungkin 3% of the sale akan rosak so dia, dia, dia dah prepare amount ok maksudnya amount ni dah ready nanti kalau orang claim dia dah ada asingkan duit itu maksud dia ok so dia katakan dalam transaction yang pertama tu the question ask to record the sales and warranty people ok katakanlah mula-mula dia record sales ok sale dapat duit kan so dapat duit RM250,000 and then sale kat kredit macam biasa lah you record at the same time on the day of the sales you have also to record the warranty expense di mana dia recognize belanja awal-awal uh, untuk warranty people jadi recognize belanja dan hutang dan you declare you akan berhutang sebanyak satu jumlah ok dan jumlah itu macam nak kira ialah depending on the question lah if the question stated that the the percentage on the sales so you have to times uh, in this case 250,000 times the 3% and you will get 7,500 so this number you will journal as a warranty paper ok sekarang hutang lah barang belum rosak ok so katalah satu hari nanti kan pada satu hari tak tahu bila adalah customer ni datang Dia kata barang ni rosak okay, Masa ni kan you dah ready hari tu duit uh, RM7,500 Tapi customer tu datang Dia tuntut RM7,000 saja. Okay. Jadi kita pun bayar dengan RM7,000 saja. Tapi kalau dia suruh repair Maknanya kita kena keluarkan kos lah Kena keluarkan duit lah nak repair okay. So kita credit bank Okay hmm, Lagi satu contoh Katakan pelanggan tu Dia tak nak repair dia dah tak percaya kalau repair nanti rosak lagi dia suruh ganti ah kalau ganti sama juga kita akan debit warranty paper tapi kita ganti dekat kredit ni kita ganti inventory 7000 inventory ni kalau dalam periodical dalam periodical system kita maybe boleh guna perkataan purchases okey so itulah ceritanya pasal warranty paper mudah saja Okey, so uh, habis uh, penerangan saya tentang soalan-soalan uh, yang berkaitan dengan current liability. So kita akan jumpa lagi in the in the next videos related to the non-current liabilities. Okey, assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera.